Uh, KISW. Please welcome to the show Rex Navarrete. Right. Hey. And I love how you were, you know, how people you were you were trying to do something else for your life, and somebody said, Bro, why are you wasting all these jokes just in this doing this dumb job? You ought to go get a job on stage. I think that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, and no, that was cool. That was uh, that was like uh, the best words of wisdom and you know, when you're like nineteen years old and you don't know if college is it or you know, but then college worked out, but then uh yeah, it was just a little kick in the butt from one of my uh one of my instructors said, dude, you're hella funny. Get on stage. Work it out somehow. That's actually what he said? The, yeah. Because the, the, back then, I mean, you're. I, I was reading, when when were you 19? In 1989? 1989. So yeah. it was like, yeah, 20, Couldn't, over 20 years ago. Yeah. I was like, whoa, man, okay. So time went, Time goes by fast, and, you know, you're still having, I'm still having a blast. So some people are probably yeah. thinking you're an overnight success, which I got to love, because you've been uh, doing this for quite some time. Yeah, but, yeah. But, you know, now, of course, a lot of us, a lot of people know about you. But, yeah, you, you know, hey, Rex, so you've been doing comedy for, what, two or three years? Is that yeah, yeah, two, yeah, two, yeah. two, two, two. <laughs> About two decades. Yeah. <laughs> two decades. Yeah. I know where you've been, but yeah, yeah. two decades busting my butt. Yeah, really. And, and well, you know, and it's come to fruition, which is cool because, uh, like Steve said, man, the Manny Pacquiao stuff is awesome. Thanks, you know, thanks. because we all know Manny. Yeah, and it seems like whenever you say Filipino now, it's like immediately people go Manny Pacquiao, or or, uh, or you eat balut. <laughs> like I think uh, I was at Joey's and one like of the hosts. No more, I'm glad. No more, no more balut jokes or references. It's all about. So, do you know Manny Pacquiao? <laughs> yeah. Is there any way you can get me tickets? Yeah. <laughs> now, here's what I want, now, here's what I want to know, though, Rex. Uh, yeah. How many shows have you been on where there's actually been a Filipino on the show? We actually have a guy. Who's that? Who, he's right over here. Come on in, Nick. Where's Nick at? Where's oh, Mono Nick? Probably getting stoned downstairs. Oh. <laughs> That's very well be. <laughs> yeah. I thought for sure that Nick would be so stoked because because Mono Nick usually goes, yeah, I'm the only Filipino I ever really know uh, hanging out. Well, you're in Seattle. So there he is, right there. There hey. he is, right there. <laughs> Rex is like, wait a second, that's a white dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's. A, yeah, I'm a quarter. He's yeah. a quarter. He's so a quarter Filipino. Like, there you go. Mestizo in the room right now. Yeah. Right? Well, you know, yeah, that's very true. You're right. I mean, we have a, a huge, a huge, gigantic yeah, Filipino he, population. You should have brought some lumpia. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah. There you we'll go. be this early in the morning. Some Ponce. Mm. Now, for, for, for folks like me that don't no know what the what hell you're saying. talking about, yeah. <laughs> those are deep fried egg rolls with no veggies. <laughs> Oh, just, that's fantastic. Oh, they're delicious. Just, they're just, they're how they're how just like have deep, I not known about this? They're it's... like deep fried Cuban cigars with pork in them. Oh, yeah. that sounds like mm. heaven. Wow. Mm. <laughs> Cardiologists would love you. Yeah. Oh, now look, they're just it's... like handing out cards. Hey, have some more. Here's my card. I'll see you in three weeks. That's <laughs> like, see, that's that's like Noki. Noki's the same thing. It's right. it's pasta. It's potato wrapped in pasta. <laughs> that's fantastic. Ours is just like whatever parts of the pig will go through a grinder. Yep. And, uh, and a little bit of wrap sweet. It up. Sour sauce. Oh yeah, man! Just like fry it up and then just oh, have a party. You Nick, some... you got to bring us some of that now. Uh, I'll have my little sister make some. And for what's you the guys. other? What's the other thing you guys talked about? Some uh, ponce. Uh, yeah, what's ponce? Uh, that's just like noodles, like really dry noodles. Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> dry. Like you have to, you have to use lip balm just to eat it. <laughs> it it's like it's thinner dry. version of uh, chow mein a little bit, but definitely drier. It's like a room dehumidifier. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so good. It's like just yeah. It's like that's how you make beef. Jerky, you just put some ponce right next to a good piece of <laughs> and it just marinated sucks beef, it. and just leave it for five hours. There you go, get some jerky. I'll tell you what, you know, <laughs> and some dry funny. noodles. This is what's so great about this country, though, Rex, because we got everybody here. You know what I mean? I'm always constantly learning. I, I bump into somebody like you, and all of a sudden, I hear about stuff that I mean, I've been on the planet for a while, never even heard of half of that stuff. Well, that, that's that's why you get the rest of the half of your life. To enjoy it even more, man. Yeah, this country you know, is a whole big work in progress, man. <laughs> my uh, my grandma would always like during the holidays make yeah. this crazy soup made with pig's blood. Oh, hey! Oh. Like I was always scared to uh, oh, to eat it. Oh, what the hell kind of soup is that? Uh, it's 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 a stew actually. It's thick. It's it's oh, made of disgusting. pork pork blood. When you when you oh. cook it up, it gets it becomes black. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just like you know, it's I like never Eng- do it. England's got like their blood sausage. We got blood stew. <laughs> Is it good? Oh, it's delicious. Yeah, I try it. It's I mean, just I... good. Just pour it over hot steamed rice, and it's just got pork Ugh. parts in there. You don't ask any questions. <laughs> yeah, so yeah What part of the pig? Just know that it is pig. It's like a hot dog. And it's got, like, big jalapenos in there, and it's just good stuff. But you don't want to let it sit out because it's, it's, it's pork blood, and if it gets old, then it's a bowl of scab. Oh! No. You're kidding. Wow. Mm, yummy. 
<laughs> it does not. Like then you slice it up. That's there like you beef go. Jerky, That's then. disgusting. I don't know, but it's good what for you. The... I don't know, man. You want to? You know what? You want to do for Put hair on your chest. It's high in vitamin something. This is a food. This is a Food Network show waiting to happen right oh, here. It yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Rex and Mono Nick. <laughs> or like uh, I, uh, or Zimmerman's. You know, <laughs> like, I'm not going to put this in my mouth. Yeah, you know? that's awesome. <laughs> I thought my family was whacked because I, I I'd taken a bite of their stew and I got like a jawbone with. There was still a few teeth left in the jawbone of. I don't even know what animal it was, but <laughs> that's that. But the blood thing, that's yeah, disgusting. It, it, uh, well, it, it takes a while to get used. There's a lot. I mean, if that's just one of the things, you know. So. I mean, it's disgusting to us because we didn't grow up with it. Exactly. If you didn't but grow I mean, up with it, then yeah. I but mean, you know, you, the, you got the, you got India going. It's disgusting that someone's having a hamburger. Everybody's got their own level of disgusting. So. I guess so. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, why eat a cow when you can ride it to a good place that has some good food? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. You know what? We'll talk to we'll talk to Cooper yeah. Polly about uh, that. We'll ask him that on Monday. We'll say, here's what Rex thinks. I mean, yeah. come on. The BJ Shea Morning Experience on 99.9 KISW.